On June 19, 1865, battalions of African-American soldiers, General Gordon Granger, and other Union officials arrived here in the state of Texas to proclaim General Order Number 3. General Order Number 3 was an enforcement and announcement of the Emancipation Proclamation, which was set into law two and a half years earlier, but was ignored and hidden in the state of Texas. So Order 3 announced definitively that all slaves are free and that there ought to be absolute equality between former masters and slaves. The news was met with great jubilation, praise, and exaltation amongst the formerly emancipated. And the party didn't end in 1865. In fact, every June 19th since, there were gatherings of celebration to remember it, alternately known as Jubilee Day, Emancipation Day, and Freedom Day. Why Jubilee Day? Because in it, the emancipated saw a connection between their experience and in Luke chapter 4, where Jesus opens up the scroll of Isaiah and reads, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor, to proclaim liberty to the captive, recovering of sight to the blind, to set at freedom all who were oppressed. And so in that moment, in that experience, there was an uh, uh, awareness of the fact that that day they experienced what Jesus was talking about, that the God of the Bible cared not just about their spiritual souls, but their physical bodies as well, that their prayers had been answered. It was a day where they celebrated the fact that earth became a little bit more like heaven, and that is always worthy of praise. So happy Juneteenth Day.